What's up, everybody? Today's Thursday, and let's hope I don't break shit today. Hey, everybody. Um, today's Thursday. It's not. Uh, it's not really that hot outside. The temperature says it's probably gonna hit about eighty at most. Um, it's gonna. It's really a cool day. Not really much going on. A little bit breezy, so I don't really expect no real service calls today. Uh, today on my schedule is just some maintenance anyway, so I just figured just let's record just to get get a video out this week. Um, probably three. Yeah, I got three calls, three maintenance calls. So we're just gonna just head over there, do them. Hopefully we find something that we I can show you guys how to fix it, or I might find nothing then. I can just do my quick little little maintenance and just go home. Tomorrow's Friday, so I I won't be I won't be really ashamed of that. So yeah, so we're gonna just head to my first house. See you there. Peace. So, in the middle of checking everything. I remember he told me his downstairs doesn't really feel like it's warm enough as much as it used. So I just talked to the guy. He said he wants to go ahead and put some refrigerant in it. He doesn't. He wasn't. Really, he doesn't look like he's that low. But it's, I'm gonna say it, it, it should take probably about one or two pounds. Thankfully, it's 410A. Oop, I wanna block the camera. Thankfully, it's 410A. So, so it really doesn't have. It ain't gonna be as pricey as it could be. I was driving. I was driving and my, my tank fell off the rack. Tank fell off the rack. I always think if my tank falls off the rack, will it explode? That's a good question. Hopefully it doesn't explode. But we will find out. So I'm gonna get I dropped the I dropped the camera. Hopefully I didn't mess nothing up. But yeah, I'm gonna grab my scale, get my tank out. I haven't used I haven't used 410 That's how long it been. Shit heavy. But yeah. So we at the next house. Three system. It's crazy. Cause you got three systems. And all three of them are different brands. You got Ring, Goodman, and you know, Linux. I don't think I ever seen a house with three different brands of systems. Which I mean isn't bad, but you can say they get their variety. I asked them about if was there any problems with any of them. They said there was there wasn't. They said they've been working pretty good, but now these have had a lot of work. I looked at the history report, and these have a lot of work done to it. This one's a heat pump right there. I'm trying to see if that one's a heat pump. I don't think that's one. This isn't a heat pump. So yeah, they got one heat pump. But yeah, I looked at the history on all these and man, they just been repairing stuff left and right. So, oh, spider web. So yeah, hopefully I don't find nothing wrong with these. Hopefully they're doing pretty good. Let's do a good little checkup. So if I find anything, I'll let you, I'll come back and record and let you guys know. Pretty easy. Nothing really was wrong with them. Like I said, they've been worked on so many times. Everything looked new in the inside. I got them all turned off right now. Let me go cut them back on. Turn the transformers back on. Look at these. He's probably the best right there, man. Just the switch. Yeah, flip the switch. Just come on. You don't got to plug nothing in. Boom. Just easy. That's on pretty good. Last one. Over here. Give it that new look. 
Oh, the butterfly. Wow. Ain't nature, ain't nature beautiful? I guess. But yeah. Uh, not really much wrong with this house. It's a nice, it's a nice house. Pretty big. Country club house. Uh, they keep their stuff pretty up to date, no matter what. made it to my last house well it's not technically it's not the house and stuff it's an apartment but it was, took me a while to even get here so story is i get the address but the address is for a one system Oops, sit that there i'll tell you guys so the address is for a one system so i'm going to the house that that my gps told me to go to and i get to the address but it's like a big mansion. It's like a, like a probably like a seven bedroom big house. And I look at the ACs outside. I can see them from driving. And they have like four. So I'm like, there's no way this is the right spot. And they live up a hill. So I'm driving my big van up this hill, narrow hill, trying my best not to, you know, fall off. So then when I get there, I look around. I'm like, there's no way this is the right place. So I go back, I sit in my car for a while. I looked up different places. I'm like, man, there's no way this could be it. So I looked on my map and on my map, it shows you, it already tells you what what's the locations are. Even if the addresses are wrong, it still shows you where the location is. So my map, it has me going completely in a whole different direction. Like a, like probably like 20 minutes from the, from the house I'm at now. So I'm like, oh, this can't be it. So, so I looked up, I looked it up. I looked on the little map, you can zoom in. I zoomed in on the street and the, sh and the street was pretty close. So I looked it up and I looked at my, I looked at my notes. I looked at the address and the thing was my dispatcher, when she put the, when she put the address in, she put, she, instead of trace, she put chase. And that's just sent me to a completely whole, whole new different area. So now finally, I finally typed in the, my address correctly. I get to the guy guy's house. It's actually an apartment. I told him I was like, "Yeah, man, I was looking for go your your spot for like a good hour." He was like, "Yeah, I don't know why she told you, or why she put in the address for um for Chase when it's actually Trace." So yeah, so that's just uh, that's what comes with this HVAC stuff. You get sent to different locations. It's probably like my third time getting sent to like a whole wrong location, like. It's just, it's crazy, it happens a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this, show you guys what the unit looks like. Peace. So we out here. This is the unit, it's a one unit, even though it's four of them. This is the only we're working on. It's, it's a hill bit. This ain't, this ain't no hill, this, this, is, this is a carrier. Ain't no way. We work on carriers all day. Companies put they own a little tag on it. I already know what it is. It's a carrier. Like I said, I work on these all day. I can tell a carrier when I see it. It's in pretty good shape. Let's see. It was in, put in in 2015. So it's in pretty good shape. I don't know. I don't think we can go as far on the outside. I'm going to open it up. Just to see how it's looking. First, I'm going to hook my gauge. I kind of broke my gauges. It's all foggy now. So I don't know if that's going to affect anything. We're going to find out. I realized that in the last one. So hopefully it doesn't do nothing to my gauges. I can still read it. I mean, you can still read pressures on it. But I'm going to just go ahead and put, hook one of my gauges up. Take this off real quick. gauges aren't broken it can actually work oh it looks like it's For some reason got switch what the heck that's the heat 
my gauges are actually broke now yeah I think my gauges are broke this is not a drill figure out why my stuff just cracked like that so I got it back working I just had to go to the settings look at everything look, look around it oh, everything looks pretty good it's good on the refrigerant these pressures aren't that low where's the box where's the disconnect box let's see is this going to be one of the pulleys uh, okay came came open it wow down, oh, up, and can't, can't open it, let me sit this down here somewhere, so I got it all finally, it took me a while, so, one of these pulley things, Whew. that thing heavy, the other system next to it just cut on, so that's what that's, that's what that noise is, open this bad boy up, you can see the inside of it, This is a carrier. I can just look at the parts and tell it's a carrier, even though the tab says hill. I know what carrier when I look at one. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna just expect, inspect it. It looks pretty good though. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys after I get ready to head out. Oh, didn't see you there. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, just got off, finished off with that last house. Wasn't a pretty bad day. Uh, maintenance is just three of them. Not really that much going on. Uh, outside that first house where we changed out, we put some refrigerant in it. Everything else, everything else was pretty good. But else, stuff was pretty fine. Not that long of a day. Pretty cool, nice, cool Thursday. Knew it wasn't gonna be hot, knew it wasn't gonna be cold. Just, just a nice breeze, so I didn't really expect no service calls to come in right now. But yeah, it was a nice, nice, easy day today. I like these, especially when tomorrow's Friday. I usually like to work hard on the earlier in the weeks and then work less at the end. Cause I just be so tired and just ready to just go home and just sleep, I don't know. But yeah, nice, nice, easy day. Um, not really much going on. Tomorrow's Friday, like I said. If anything crazy pops up, I probably record and post it. Ew, is that water in my beard? I think that that's water from the Gatorade and just, no, whatever. But yeah, my gauges broke earlier. Yeah, that's okay. It is life. Probably get a new one. But yeah, that's it. Thanks you guys for watching. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, I keep burping. That's so unprofessional. Uh, but thanks, thanks you guys for watching. If you have any questions, anything, leave a, leave them in the comments. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time. Peace.